The Speed 400 and Scrambler 400X are all new and built from the ground up. Triumph started a partnership with Indian vehicle manufacturer Bajaj to assemble both models, but ensured that both bikes remain an official Triumph Motorcycles product. Chief Engineer Stuart Wood admitted it was a tough ask for Bajaj to deliver a bike with the same quality and detailing as any other Triumph, while still maintaining a low price. On paper, the Speed 400 and Scrambler 400X have some similarities, but there are a few key differences designating one as a Roadster and one as a Scrambler. On the road, these changes result in a fairly different riding experience. But the one commonality between the two is the shared 398cc DOHC liquid-cooled four-valve single-cylinder engine. Claimed peak power for both models is 39.5 horsepower at 8,000 RPM and 27.7 foot-pounds of torque at 6,500 RPM. Tuning is identical, but the Scrambler is geared slightly shorter for off-road excursions. A 43mm inverted big piston fork and monoshock are fitted on both bikes, but each model receives its own tuning and wheel travel. The Scrambler 400X offers 5.9 inches of travel front and rear, whereas the Speed 400 is reduced to 5.5 inches of travel up front and 5.1 inches at the back. Suspension adjustability is limited to spring preload on the shock. Chassis geometry is also unique to each model. They both utilize a steel tube frame with a bolt-on subframe. But the Scrambler's head stay is extended by roughly one inch to allow for the X's larger 19-inch front wheel, as well as to create a longer wheelbase. 55.8 inches and more relaxed steering geometry of 23.2 degrees. The Speed 400 has a 54.2 inch wheelbase and 24.6 degree rake. Claimed wet weight is a separator as well. The Speed 400 is lighter at 375 pounds while the taller, longer Scrambler is 395 pounds, according to Triumph. Increased weight can be attributed to the Scrambler's longer frame, larger front wheel, 17-inch on the speed, increased suspension, taller, wider handlebar, and additional styling pieces such as a headlight guard, wraparound handguards, and a dual exit muffler. These chassis differences not only create different riding sensations, but affect the seat height as well. The Scrambler 400X stands tall with a 32.9-inch seat height. The Speed 400 is more approachable at 31.1 inches. Braking components are similar. Both models utilize a Bi-Bri four-piston caliper up front, but the Scrambler has a larger 320mm disc, whereas the Speed uses a 300mm rotor. Triumph fits the Scrambler with a more progressive brake pad compound for better modulation off-road, while the Roadster receives a more aggressive brake pad compound. Rear braking components are identical. Both models share hard parts including the 3.4-gallon fuel tank, LED lighting, analog LCD dash, levers, switch gear, and grips. Triumph didn't build one motorcycle and dress it up in two different fashions. It utilized the same frame, suspension, brakes, and the engine, but tailored them specifically for each model. And what you get is two very accessible motorcycles with premium quality, unique styling, and individual personalities. The TR Series engine is highly impressive in both models with its competitive power figures. This single provides a broad spread of power, but does its best work in the mid-range. Throttle response is direct yet smooth, but when modulating on and off the gas at low RPM in gears 1 and 2, the fueling is snatchy and abrupt. Alleviating this sensation requires riding a gear high or feathering the slipper assist clutch. 
Short shifting to third and even fourth gear at relatively low speeds eliminates the twitchy throttle while still providing smooth, tractable power.